Webflow e-commerce website tutorial for beginners how to create an online store on Webflow. Hello guys, Cydia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we use this software to create our own online store. Basically it's not that hard, they provide us the opportunity to create it from scratch or we can simply use the template and then just customize it. Also, we can buy a template and use it, it's much, much easier. So let's get started. They have the option to get started for free. In the right top corner, right up here, we can just simply click or we can click on start building. Also, there is like some information here on the start page about their paid plans. So uh, we'll discover it a little bit later. So let's click on start building. And as you can see, we have the option to create our account with email or we can continue with Gmail. As for me, this is the easiest variant. So let's choose this variant right up here and we'll come to our dashboard, to our workspace. Basically in the right top corner, we have our account information where we can add some billing info and so on. But we won't do this in this video. We also have like dashboard and marketplace, also some learn and resources we can use. Dashboard provides us the opportunity to deal with our websites here. As you can see, I already have one, but we can also create new. So we can go to uh, marketplace here and go to templates to discover some of the templates. Some of them are free, but almost all are paid. Uh, so maybe you'll, it will be easier for you to choose one of these templates and to customize it to your like online store. But not, not all of them are about like store. Some of them are about blogs or portfolios. So let's begin our creating for free. I'll go back to my dashboard here and then I'll just click on a new site on this purple button here. So let's click. And we'll come to this page. We can find like free templates here or we can create it from scratch, like blank side. You will scroll down, we can find the templates which are provided from templates area. And there is also like some, uh, you know, um, free templates here. You can try to find, maybe it will be suitable as for me. So in this case, I'm going to use a store starter right up here, as you can see on these uh, like page so i'll just click on select to find it and the name let it be like a helper store let it be like this i just click on create site and after that we'll come to our editing page what is interesting is that we can customize every single part here on this template so as you can see uh, now our website looks like this it looks pretty cool all we need to do is just to change the stuff here just change these images this text here also we can uh, swipe between different devices at the top of the screen right up here we can change the tablet for example we can change the view of like this stuff here mobile landscape and also like uh, mobile right up here so as you can see all the parts are adaptive and it's pretty cool as for me that webflow provides us the opportunity to optimize for all of the devices so let's start our creation firstly of course we can add our logo image right up here as you can see let's discover our navigation in the left side we have like add option we can add some elements text blocks quotes like containers, grid, and so on. And we can also add like some advanced settings with like video, drop down, and some other stuff, some like uh, map, Facebook, and Twitter. We can add the components so we can discover how does the structure looks like. For example, we have like navigation folder, footer folder, newsletter, and also they contain from navigation items like logo link, logo image, navigation wrap, and so on. So it's easier for us to understand the structure with this folder here. Also, we have like navigator here. We have like pages so we can add some pages. Uh, or we can just, uh, you know, uh, customize them. There's like also option to see this collector and we can add the teammates here. So we are able to add the teammates. And of course, there's like e-commerce stuff here. We, can, we have like a set up guides, products, categories, discounts and so on. So if you click on it, we can find a lot of stuff here, like add a business address, review currency settings, add a product. So we can just simply click on add a product. And here we can add all, all the products we are going to uh, like sell. As you can see, there is like uh, the stuff here. In order to add the product, we just simply click, need to click on a new product in the right top corner. 
add the name, add the slug, add the description, and after that it will be successfully created. Well, we cl click on create. So we also need to add some images here. And then everything is done. Also, we have like categories here, like category one, two, three. We can add new categories or customize the existing. Also, there is like discounts option here, orders and subscriptions. And of course, there is like some assets area where we can deal with all of our stuff here. As you can see, there is like store image, which is provided like here in the left top corner of our website. So in order to customize any single part, we just simply need to click on it and then just click on settings in the right side here. So we can change some stuff or we can just click on right up here and click on show all settings. So as you can see, everything is like done. So we can edit component if we need, we can change the spacing, size, layout, basically every single part here, like position, background and so on. And in this way, we can deal with every single part. For example, with this like heading, we can just simply delete this text and just write um, the name of our store basically let it be like this a simple simple webflow e-commerce template to get you started we can just write something like uh, best tutorials ever let it be like this so we can customize every single part this button here where does it looks like we can add some uh, actions here for example if somebody will click it will lead to some form or do some other stuff so basically this is where how can we deal with elements of this stuff here and moreover where everything is done we can just simply click on publish and then just click on publish to selected domains we can uh, use the domain from webflow and or we can buy the custom domain in this case i'm going to use free domain here so I'll just click on publish to selected domains and after that it will be added to like uh, the web so we can easily visit this website and we can use it may take a little time it depends on as you can see it was like successfully published so now we can go back to our dashboard just click right up here and go to our uh, like dashboard and now we are able to visit this website in order to do this we just simply need to click on this button right up here and everything is done our website looks like this of course it's, it's like there is no like custom here options but we can simply use all the interface we can add to cart we can pay then so continue to check out for example a checkout is disabled so we need to add the like payment methods but basically this is a way of how can we deal with webflow to create our e-commerce website i think it's pretty easy to create and i hope guys that this video helped you out if you have any questions of course you can write them in the comments below but basically that's all for this video. I hope you're doing great and I wish you a very, very good day and goodbye guys.